This is code.org, and we are going to take a look at the ice cream class. Let's see what we have here. The ice cream class represents an ice cream that is available at the Project Mercury Pastries food truck. Import dessert.java. Okay, we got that right here. If not, you can always head over to the link and copy it over. Uh, in ice cream.java, complete the parameterized constructor. All right, so let's head over here. What's a parameterized constructor? Let's keep in mind the constructor is what is used to generate an object for the class. So we have ice cream right here, the my ice cream object. And how is that created? It's created, we first declare the my ice cream object, and the data type is ice cream, the name of the class. And then this is what is the method we call to create the object. And we're telling the computer run the ice cream constructor with these values. So it has to have parameters. The computer says, what is this? Smack, oh, I gotta go over here. And then it looks for ice cream. This one doesn't have any value, so I can't pass anything, but this one does. So this is where the computer will run. All right, complete the parameterized constructor to initialize flavor and price. All right, we got flavor, has cone, and price. Let's check though. So the only instance variable or the only property of this class is has cone, which means flavor and price is elsewhere. And we know this, we've seen this, right? Because ice cream is built on top of our dessert class. So let's just double check dessert. Ah, yeah, there's flavor, there's price. Okay, so they want us to use the this keyword to initialize, wait a minute, use super. So first we're gonna use super, and we have also seen super before. And what does super do? The computer says super, okay, so what's above this? What's greater than this class? It looks up here and says, oh, ice cream is built on dessert. So the super class for ice cream is dessert, which makes sense because dessert is super. Bah, huh? Eh, it is super low. Just saying. All right. Uh, what am I putting here? Flavor and price. Now, why am I putting flavor and price? Well, let's go look at dessert. Dessert has this constructor, no parameters, but it also has this one. Oh, look, flavor and price. And what does it do? It sets the class instant variables, flavor and price. Ice cream has access to all of this. When the computer runs this, it's gonna look like one one big class with all these properties. It doesn't really distinguish that these are actually different files uh, that we created because it's all uh, built on top of each other. So now we have those set, flavor and price for the ice cream, and now we need to set the uh, has cone. Notice though, this has cone is identical in spelling and all of that to, to have cone, has cone, which means we need to use the this keyword. This has cone. And the reason we're doing that is this means the current class we're in. So whatever object we have created, this tells the computer, hey, 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 we might be local here. We might be within this method. Because if I did, the computer would have no idea what I'm talking about because it says, okay, you have a has cone variable. Wait, you're setting this variable equal to the, what the variable was already equal to? Okay. It won't get it, which is why we have the word this, because this will always let it know, no, we don't mean the local thing, we mean all of it. So whatever's part of this entire class, this class, and that's that one. So now the local has cone, this parameter, will set the value of the class variable of the instant variable, because this has cone must reference the class variable. It's a bit of a tongue twister. Complete the set cone method. Use the this keyword to set the has cone. Okay, set cone method. Up oh, here we are again. And so same deal there. This has cone is going to be equal to has cone. And so it knows not the local value, but the class instant variable. So we're using the local value when this is passed, when this is run and a value is passed, whatever value is passed, we want to set the entire class variable equal to whatever value they try to put in here. I think that should do it. Set cone false, boom, boom. Let's give it a shot. Rocky road 275 true, Rocky road 275 false. Awesome, onward. Ooh, and I should go ahead and commit my code. Bam and bam. Onward, onward.